Well, I got the sound fixed. It was just a bad USB port that I had used a different port than I did when it was downstairs. So that's what was wrong with the sound. So anyway, try it. You try everything before you go for a reinstall of the operating system. So anyway, some people are interpreting what I'm saying about this town as if I'm saying, oh, this place is terrible. No, this place isn't terrible. This, this place is nice. It's a nice little town, but there's nothing to do here. My whole change in attitude about my health and stopping the weight gain thing, stopping the wanting to be heavy thing, changed a lot of stuff for me. Changed a lot of stuff for me. I was essentially, previous to that change, I was living for a fantasy. I was living for a fetish. I made that my life. Some of it was because I didn't really value my life that much. Thought, well, let's just enjoy what we can and, uh, and die early and, you know, at least I was doing something I enjoy. But I, I've, I've changed my, my view on that. And now, you know, real life socializing is a lot more important to me. And this town doesn't offer that very much. This town doesn't really offer that at all. As far as that goes, I, I mean, my, my priorities have changed. They've changed pretty radically. And this town does not meet my new priorities. But this town isn't bad. This isn't a bad town. This is, this is a nice, this is a nice little town. And, you know, once the problems are taken care of at, at this place, like in the basement, you know, hey, it's, it's, it's a nice place. And I have it to myself. It's my little apartment. Not even that little. It's my big apartment, you know? It's one half of a townhouse duplex. As far as that goes, I don't really have much to complain about. It'd be stupid if I complained about that. That's not... That's really not the issue. The issue is the town itself doesn't have anywhere to hang out unless I like cigarette smoke, and I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to be around to that. I refuse to be around that. Now, hopefully, I'll get to spend more time uh, with Tim and his wife. And uh, we can watch movies and do some other things. And, you know, it'd be good. You know, uh, play board games, uh, chess, uh, whatever, right? You know, that would be cool. I would like that. But as far as somewhere to, to hang out, you know, it has to be at one of our places. There's no hangout spot here. It's just It's just not here. And I still want to try to make this place the best that I can, if, if not just for my own satisfaction, like repainting the kitchen, getting everything that's needed so I can paint the uh, the wallpaper. And you gotta do the, get the, put the sealer on it first, and then I'll, I'll paint all of that. And then I still do want to sand the floors and restain them, you know, if not just for my own satisfaction, but so I can have a really good reference for whatever the next place I go to is. And I'm hoping that, you know, if it do, if I still can't seem to make friends out here um, because there's nowhere to hang out, I'm still hoping that Eureka is a place that I can go. I really liked it there. The thing that was bad there before was the place that I was staying had the meth addict woman, the woman who would sell her body for meth, and then invited friends over that said, uh, that would say really loudly, <clears throat> I'm going to bash a fucking faggot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, when they... When they say things like that, yeah, it's that's a problem. It, it is. And not having a vehicle there sucked. You know, if I go there this time, I'll have a vehicle. Every place that I go, I learn something. I learn a lot of things. I learn a lot of what not to do. I learn more about what my priorities should be. And it's important to recalculate my priorities. That's important. I think it's important for anyone to recalculate their priorities. You know, take a look at, you know, what, what am I doing with my life? What do I want to do with my life? What do I want to experience? I don't want my whole life to be social media. That's what it was before. My life was social media. So, well, if I get my own place, I can still make my life social media and things are good. But the way that I'm looking at it now, I'm the things that I enjoyed on this platform here on YouTube, I don't enjoy anymore. And I see no reason to to really focus that much on some of those things that I use this platform for. 
like I said, I, I don't see a point in arguing about politics anymore. It just it doesn't make any sense anymore. It's, it's, I've, it's, I don't get anything out of it anymore. And there are some things I've been tempted to talk about, but I'm just like, but these are going to be the kinds of comments and the ways that people are going to respond to it. Then if I try to talk about anything that has to do with social issues, I and I... I'm honest about a lot of stuff, then I'll have uh, a bunch of people making videos against me and then there'll be swarms of people in the comment sections, you know, insulting me. You know, I already have it just out of, man, just out of uh, saying that I agreed with Steve Shives on something. Oh my goodness, it's terrible. Well, like, all right. You know, I just don't see a point anymore. So that's why I haven't been making those kinds of videos since I made my announcement. Yeah, uh, I don't think, uh, I just don't think I'm interested in that anymore. It's more negativity than it is positivity. So why do it? So I'm, I'm having to change around my priorities. I want an actual social life. I don't want my social life to re revolve around online. So, you know, my priorities have changed. And again, I want to make sure that I get a really good reference out of out of being here like this. Now again, there could be something that comes up here that that gives me that kind of social life that I want and it might work out really well. Who knows? As it stands right now, I'm not seeing it. So I want to plan. I want to plan for whatever the next place is that I go. You know, maybe something else will happen. Maybe there'll be somewhere in New York, somewhere that's much closer than traveling across the United States that might offer the things that I want. Who knows? The reason why I'm, I keep going for Eureka is because I know the place. I know the place. I enjoyed the place. I loved the place. But again, there, there were two, two reasons why I moved from there. I didn't have a vehicle. It was too hard to just get basic things like groceries. And the place that I was living had a meth addict who brought over people who said, I'm going to bash a fucking faggot. Those are, those are the reasons why I left. I didn't really have much of another choice at the time. You know, at that time, hey, I have an opportunity to move back to Tacoma. Okay, great, let's do it. And uh, maybe I can come back to Eureka some other time. I have always hoped, I have always hoped that I could go back there. I mean, since I went there before. You know, I've always had these hopes that there'd be some way that I could go back there again, maybe under different circumstances. I, you know, and before I, uh, as I've been living here alone, there are so many things that I've been learning, very important things. Some of them are just simple things that I, I should have known a long time ago, but I never really had the chance to learn them. Like, well, what happens if I, if I don't keep up on this? Well, this is what results. Oh. That's why people do things this way. Okay, that way when I when I do eventually go to a place that I have roommates, because that's what it's going to be like, I'm I am likely to never have my own place again. That the things, the, the rules that they they push forth will be ones that make sense, and I understand why they have them, and I'll be happy to follow them. This was an this has been a very important uh, uh, lesson several lessons and I still have many more to go whether I continue to stay here or not you know eight months is a, is a bit away there's a lot of stuff that can happen in eight months there's a lot of stuff that can happen in a week but yeah my priorities have changed a great deal and I think that's a good thing you know again this is not a bad town this is a nice little town and if you're not if you're someone who just wants to be a home buddy you know this is great great place inexpensive you have, uh, I mean, I've got, I, I can travel 10 minutes and get to a, to a Walmart. I can travel eight minutes and go to a, a wise market that's kind of overpriced. But, um, you know, I have the necessities around me. And there's all these old buildings, which I think is cool. Though I'm not nearly as enthused about old buildings as I was before because, well, old buildings is just about all you have out here. You know, there's still a lot of cool things here. There's still a lot of cool things that I'll be experiencing. The winter is going to be definitely very interesting for me. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to these experiences, even though some of them, some of the experiences are going to suck. But I'm still looking forward to them because I have something to learn from them. But yes, my priorities have changed very much. And I just thought I'd, uh, I'd make myself perfectly clear. Thanks.